Hello, Nomad Sculpt, and this video is about instances and um, about sync, the sync option, and how to delete uh, instances. And we need an example. Okay, I start from the beginning, so I delete here everything. So I add here the the Mestella head. I delete that only the head is here and then we add here maybe uh, a array. So, so let's create a few heads. So something here like this. And now I validate uh, the whole thing here and I keep the instances. So, but first here I select this main head and I add a group node. So that makes it a little bit easier to see what happens inside the groups. So I select the, the array and I validate and I keep the instances. So now we have a bunch of different groups with instances. So, okay. So now I select maybe this head here. And maybe I use the mask tool. So the sculpting tools are no problem. So I mask here part and you see everything is on the instances. Okay, so let's extract here the masked, masked part and you see here inside the groups, I go a step back, so here and then I uh, press extract, then we get new objects in every group. So now every head has this part. Okay, so the problem is maybe I don't want this here anymore. So I clear the mask here and I select this object here. And I'm using here now the delete option. So when I press delete, you see only here on this head, um, the object is deleted, but not on the other heads. So there is no option to delete all instances in all groups. So I go a step back. So the only way to delete all parts is, so you select um, this part and the head and join it. So now all the objects inside the group are joined again to the head. So and now it's possible to mask the head and use the trim tool um, and delete this part. So now on all heads, the part is deleted. So this is the only way to delete um, the objects on all instances. Okay, the next thing is here, maybe I, w I want to add an object here to this head and I'm using here this add option. So I'm add, adding now um, a torus object. <coughs> and now you see on all the other instances, there is no torus because there is no sync option to the other groups. So maybe I want um, the head
to have such a earring. So maybe like this. And I want the earring on all the other objects. So the only way is to... So I validate this object and now I join them together. So when I join them, all the other objects get the earring. And then here there is the option here to, to separate the, the topology. And then you see here all the group nodes become um, separate objects. So you get the ring and the head. Okay. Sorry, so, okay. The other option is not to use this add button. You can use this insert tool here. And when you use the insert tool, for example, I'm searching for the torus here. You see here at the top here, there's a sync option. This only works with the insert tool. So when I'm um, using the torus in combination with a sync, so you see now all other objects are synced. So again, torus. And here is the sync option. So when I sync option on uh, off and sync option on. Okay. So and the next thing is here here when I'm using the gizmo. And I'm rotating the face or the head here a little bit. You see all the other heads stay in position. So nothing happens here. So when you want that all heads do the same. So you have to change here the target mode. You see here uh, object and um, so this is a linked option and here uh, the hierarchy and the linking instances. So these two target modes are for the instances. So when I select the object here and now I rotate all other heads do the same thing. So this is really <laughs> nice to see. So yeah. And this is a thing with a target mode. So you can try um, the different things here uh, with a hierarchy and so. So now you can move all instances at, at once. So and with this option here, sorry, I have to check it myself. What's the difference? Yeah, maybe we need more objects inside the repeater. Okay, so this is it uh, for this video. I hope it helps a little bit. Um, have fun sculpting and ciao.